This is the exact reason why I hate going into nail salons. I've never been into it before, okay? 56% of the nail salons in New York are in violation of health and safety rules. As a result, many clients have been infected with staph infections as well as hepatitis. Oh! Okay, so for those of you who have been watching me for a while, know that I usually make worst rated videos about makeup artists. But yesterday I went into a nail salon. Right now I live in Paris, but I also live in London. So it's just like hard for me to like always like know where to go. Like there's like this really like cute place that um is like five stars, like they are amazing, like the aesthetic is drop dead gorgeous but they don't have, you know, the massage chairs. So I refuse to get a pedicure without a massage chair. I literally, hand on my heart, feel like that is a scam. Why would you get a pedicure without a massage chair? So anyway, I go into this, um, into this salon, right? I never, I've never been to it. But it looks like, it looks quite cosy, it looks cute-ish. Um, so I walk in and immediately I see like this puked, stained chair with like, you know, you know like your grandma's like, like living room, like decor, like those white, what are they called, the white chiffon -y things. It was literally like draped in that, in that. it was really weird. But I didn't think too much of it. I was just like, okay, uh, yeah, just a pedicure, please. I'm. I don't know if I could have got an infection yesterday, but apparently it looks like this place has a lot of violations that they've been having. Um, there was also a sterilization box right out in public view, like, it was really weird. So anyway, I, I start like relaxing in the chair. It's a mess. <laughs> because I didn't want to get gel, I just wanted normal polish. She then gives me this small little book. This was their only nail selection. Ah, quelle couleur? Uh, je prends um, numéro 
So, when she soaks my feet in the water, the water, the water doesn't even come up to my ankles. Like, some of you might say, oh, maybe she's trying to, like, save on water. Maybe, but I deserve to have the water at least come up to my ankles. Like, I felt like she was literally doing the bare minimum. Like... Once she's like finished like callousing my feet or whatever it's called, the massage starts. I'm like, yay, this is my, my favorite part. Like, I love getting a massage. Like, it's just my favorite part of the of the pedicure. So then she starts like putting the lotion on my legs. I'm like, cool. She starts doing the hitting part on like, you know, the top, the top of your like, your calves down to your toes. Like, I'm like, okay, we're getting there. Like, you know, it's, it's a good start. She just stops. And and that was it. It didn't even last. It barely lasted for two minutes. Barely. It, at best at best it was a 30 second massage. I've never had a 30 second massage. I'm sorry, but I know I sound like a brat right now, but if I'm paying you 35 euros, I expect the massage to at least last five minutes, like at least five minutes. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, mm, so anyway, as I said, I've got, a, I've had a lot of pedicles done before, like, they usually like take their time massaging you, they usually go under the foot, they usually go on all the pressure points on the foot, none of that, there was none of this. Sometimes they even go the extra mile and like click your like your toes individually. The first time this happened to me, I didn't actually like that, but you get used to it. Um, yeah, there, there, there was nothing with that. There was, there was no massage, okay? There was no massage. Disappointed is like an understatement, okay? But like, how would you tell someone, um, massage, massage, can you massage more, like? You know, like, I... So she said, oh, it's done, like, you know... Wait, say yes. Oui, 
So yeah, so at this point I'm thinking, okay, I'm just gonna have to enjoy the back massage from like the chair, from the massage chair. So I do, I literally like, I'm just like, while my feet are drying from this like mini, mini tiny, extra tiny fan that is like literally on the side of my right foot. Like there's like nothing coming, there's no air coming from, uh, from me from the left apart from like the door that's like she left open from like the front door of the door so I'm getting some air from there but like yeah anyway so I'm trying to relax I'm like I might as well obviously now just make the best of the situation since like the pedicure is basically over I'm just waiting for my nails to dry and um, so yeah I'm just like I'm just trying to enjoy the massage the massage chair is doing okay like you know it's just a massage chair so I it was just like being like massaged by spoons really um like it took longer for the nail varnish to dry than for the actual pedicure itself like at minimum maybe 40 minutes uh is like fine it's like a fair fair deal whatever but 15 minutes, like, you're getting scammed. Like, I, I literally got scammed. Like, I paid 35 euros or so for this. And that is the same price that I pay in London for an hour. So... Okay. So I'm trying to decompose. C'est fini On voit un peu. On voit un peu. Merci. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I just literally came out of my appointment. Uh, yeah, there was no one in the salon. Not even one person. Okay, and literally the actual pedicure, including her putting on the nail varnish, took 15 minutes. If that. Okay, it took just the amount time if not longer for the nail polish to dry because she had this tiny mini um, fan so there wasn't even like two fans for one foot for each foot so there was like this little mini fan for both my feet I mean the door was opened but um, yeah so it took just long if not longer for my feet to dry than the actual pedicure itself um so yeah it wasn't a great experience yeah i mean you saw my feet i mean my feet are in a bit of a state because i haven't had a pedicure in like maybe one or two months now so um so yeah they were they were in a bit of a state 
but um, they weren't awful. I don't have like calloused feet, but normally, okay, just for comparison, usually um, a pedicure takes like an hour and and I was there for like a half hour and 15 minutes of that was like waiting for the paint to dry. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Am I like being overreactive or I don't know? But the only good like thing that I actually enjoyed about the pedicure was the 15 minute chair massage that you get. That was the only thing. But was it worth 35 euros for just like a chair massage? I don't know, I don't think so, but yeah, well, that was the video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys, love you.